So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yetunde, aka YBA. If you're seeing me for the first time, I'm so happy you're here. Um, today we're going to Asini. Asini Mafia. Like if you're not even real, so don't joke with your Asini. So today looks like another vlog day. I feel like I'm beginning to get a hang of this vlog thing. Asini is like the weekend destination, you know, that everyone goes to. Just unwind for the weekend. So. Yeah, I've been wanting to go to a city for a while, but you know, this is the one thing or the other. Anywho, so this is just welcome to today's vlog. Uh, I hope to show you the drive and tell you fun facts about Asini as we go. Let's put some lip gloss on so we can keep my being. Some water for hydration, and let's be on our way. So welcome to today's vlog uh, we are approaching the third bridge this third bridge is also known as pond hkb bridge i have not figured out how to pronounce the name of this bridge it is named after someone very important here in cote d'ivoire on the side there there's like a mural like some kind of artwork of the first president of cote d'ivoire and the current president of cote d'ivoire at this bridge cars pay uh saint frank which is 500 francs. Uh, buses pay 1,500 francs, which is mil saint francs. And uh, I know trucks pay about 3,000 francs, which is trois mil francs. Ha, see guys, I'm getting this, I'm getting to know my money. Anyways, immediately after the tow, everything opens up straight into the third bridge. This bridge was built, or should I say commissioned in 2014. It is the bridge that connects the Macquarie area to the Cocody area of town. That area takes you to Benjaville, you know, just a large part of Abidjan. While the Macquarie side of town is where you have Zonkad, Bietri, Kumasi, and a load, like loads of other neighborhoods. Anyway, now we're on the other side of town. On your left, you've got Kumasi, and on your right, you've got Zonkad. <music> We are on the Grand Bazam Road. Guys, I could not tell you how beautiful this road is. If you drive through this place in the night, it is so beautiful. One of my favorite things about this road is how it is lined with the beautiful, beautiful coconut trees. It's just so well thought out. And there's a sidewalk, you can jog, you can ride your bicycle. This would be like a nice place to live. Uh, there's also like, you know, all these like tiny boots, like this brand where we're just passing by, where there's like maintenance, where they water and do everything. This road obviously opens up into the rest of the journey. This road is going to take us, this is called the Grand Bassam Pass, I think, and it takes us straight to this toll gate. Now, this toll gate is definitely out of town, out of Abidjan. I do not know the name, but you pay, all cars pay 1,000 francs here, which is mil franc. So you pay 1,000 francs and you go through. There's so many beautiful sites here on the way to Asini. This is the Sassandra Bridge. Please, Iberians, correct me if I'm saying it wrong. This bridge, there's like two of them and it's over so a river and uh, the other one is over like a lagoon. My favorite thing about going to Asini was also the road to it. Not only were the roads good and nice, it was just beautiful scenery. I felt like stopping like every few minutes just to breathe in, you know, the countryside air. Um, on your way, you get to pass through quite a number of towns. Um, there is Thank you. 
Wafana here at Asini. Um, this is the Aqua Beach Hotel and uh, we eventually stopped here after a while. We had driven around like down the stretch of the lagoon just to look around. There's so many beautiful houses here, beautiful homes and then we decided to stop here. The kids found this cute fish pond. There's this really nice man who gave them some baguettes to feed <laughs> to the fish and they were so excited. He did promise that they can come back and feed the fish maybe later in the day. Like you can go for a paddle, a nice boat ride, a nice drive around and just honestly just enjoy your life. <laughs> so it's really beautiful. <laughs> Asini aka Asini Mafia as Ivorians fondly call it is a coastal town in Cote d'Ivoire. It is a destination for people who want to get away from the hustle and bustle of Abidjan or it is also the place for your honeymoons you know for just to relax you know it's like a very very vacation vibe. Um, Asini is a two hour drive from Abidjan and you pass through you know different towns again i don't want to murder any name of any town so i'm not going to say them um and um, there are a lot of resorts ranging from budget to luxury to beach houses like you name it it is here you can also come here um through a private boat or through like a local canoe so if you know someone who can get that for you that's another way to get here you know swimwear it's like a vacation I did bring an outfit and I also bought swimwear but I honestly just don't feel like doing any of those things I think I might be coming down with a cold <clears throat> but we're going on a boat ride very soon there's a wedding happening here today it's on the other side of the beach uh, I don't know I don't want to be intrusive I felt like filming the wedding any music you're hearing right now from the wedding and they're really patting it up small wedding really nice classy if you want to come to aqua beach here you don't need to pay for like a day's pass once you're going to purchase food and drinks you can come in here for free you do have to pay for the boat ride two thousand francs per person so that's a domain for per person the breeze here amazing i just want to lay down on this couch over there and just like right there i just want to lay down and just sleep but I'm still hopeful, fingers crossed. This is just like midday, so I'm trying to find my senior spirit, okay? Let's see if we can find it. Let me show you guys my sister. My sister is just doing photo shoot up and down. Like, auto shoot. Hold on. Let me show you. That's 
my younger sister she just i think she just she's just doing too much for the gram look at how she's holding the tripod over her shoulder <laughs> it's amazing i wish i had a spirit Señorita, diga bonita que necesita amor. Su sonrisita tan exquisita, solo me invita y voy, voy, voy. Diga cosita, porque me agita. Usted tiene ese don. Si solicita, niña bendita, sepa que yo le doy, doy, doy. Pero yo también disparo Baby, tú quieres a este bicho raro Dame hasta las 11 para entrar en calor Tú eres una estrella pero yo soy director Vamos mamacita que ya soy tu seguidor Pero de los miles yo soy el mejor And we're back I'm sure you saw all of that beautiful beautiful lagoon view like all the beautiful houses the beach houses the beach homes you know chai it's good to have money like you have to have money um, I just like to say that um, we couldn't go to the beach because it was already getting late and we've checked the traffic there's going to be a bit of traffic getting back into Abidjan today so we want to quickly get on our way normally we should have stopped the boat on the other side of town walked through the town and gone to the beach we're definitely coming back to our scene like I cannot wait to come back but if you want like a relaxing promenade of you know the lagoon of like a nice waterway definitely you have to go on this boat ride so let's just take a trip around this resort I really enjoyed myself here I didn't think I was going to enjoy it this much so I feel like I didn't show you enough of the ground so I'm gonna show you the, there's the pool there's the bar area you know it's such a really really nice beautiful area just on our way out let's just see it together time to go and the kids came to give the fish some last minute baguette pieces
we're finally done here at Asini. We're going home. It's about 5 p.m. now, so give or take, we should be in Abidjan by 7 p.m. I definitely will be coming back to Asini. I didn't have my Asini energy, Asini vibe today, but I still really enjoyed myself. It's such a beautiful place. And if you were to ask me for advice, I think that all the popular spots that we see on IG for Asini, they are not actually the places to go to enjoy Asini. There's so many places here and they're just, you know, in one nice little corner and it's so beautiful. And so if you want to come to Asini, I really think you need to do some research. And we're driving back and what is a road trip without shopping on the road for fresh fruits, fresh veggies, just fresh everything. Everything here was really cheap compared to, you know, what you buy in Abidjan. So, of course, I filled my boot with all kinds of stuff. I was so happy to see eggplant. It's tinier than what we have in Nigeria, but I was really, really happy. Of course, I got some avocado, some mangoes. We got some papa. We got yams, uh, sweet potatoes. We also had like a bunch of plantains. See, uh, my bargaining skill. Now that I know my money, it's, it's on point. I wish I could turn up the volume here, but it was really, really uh, not clear because of of the traffic you know the cars that are passing by um anyways we really had a nice time on this trip and i cannot wait to come back to asini don't worry guys when next i come back i'm definitely going to the beach we are going to be having the time of our lives enjoy the rest of this video which is just a nice little sunset for you thank you for watching see you next time